Okay, so let's focus on these three options. PDF to CAD, PDF to image, image to PDF. Okay, so these are pretty amazing options provided by the PDF blueprint. Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and in this video, we'll be just converting PDF file into DWG file. And then of course, we will try to convert PDF to an image file. And then lastly, an image file to a PDF. So let's just focus first on the PDF to CAD converter, okay? I'll just click on this. And of course, first of all, you have to install PDF blueprint. That's completely free. Just go ahead and download it from the link given below in the video description, okay? And then after installation, make sure you double click on its icon, which is just available on your desktop maybe. Okay, and then go ahead and click on the file and then of course, open your file. Okay, let's just focus on the desktop. I have some files and of course these are PDF. Okay, you can say the, the format is just PDF. Okay, and then let me just specify the foundation. Then of course, I'm gonna click on the open. As you can see, this is a, uh, you can say foundation plan. Okay, now let's just click on the convert. And then of course, let's click on the PDF to get. What actually it does, of course, it converts your PDF file into DWG file. Okay, so you can just then open that using your AutoCAD. Now, as you can see, a dialog box appeared, and here we can, of course, add the PDF files to convert. One is already added because that is just the, the opened one. However, I'm going to add one another one. So I'm going to click on the add, and then, of course, another dialog box, which is the open dialog box. And then, of course, you can specify the file where you have that in your computer. Okay, let's just try the subdivision. Okay, I'm going to specify that one. And then, of course, let me just click on the open. And then of course that's just added over here you can see we have two files okay one is actually the foundation and the another one that is just the subdivision here are some options which actually converts each page okay into a single dwg file of course and then you can even use the merge convert option over here you can specify the path by clicking these three dots and then of course let me just specify desktop and by right click i'm going to click on the new and then of course a new folder i'm going to name this converter i'm going to click over here and then of course let me just open it and then i'm going to click on the select folder of course that's been specified okay now i'm going to click on the convert and of course the pdf blueprint is going to convert those uh you can say pdf files for you okay so we have to wait for that as you can see it's just done you can say convert complete okay total two pdf pages added and two pages are converted. Of course, that's done. I'm gonna click on the OK, and then that's just opened over here, okay? If that's not open, of course, you can move ahead to the desktop, and of course, that's the same folder. You can double click on it, and of course, over here, we have the details, okay? The foundation, that is, of course, DWG file. You can see that, okay? Uh, you can say the, the type format. That's DWG from the PDF, okay? You can open that with uh, AutoCAD. This time I don't want to open that over here. As you can see the subdivision one, that's also DWG file. You can see that, okay? Pretty simple. Now, again, I'm going to move ahead to the, let me just close this one. Again, I'm going to move ahead to the same converter over here, the PDF blueprint. And of course, I'm going to click on the convert. And this time, let me just try PDF to image. Okay, I'm going to click on there. And of course, a dialog box will appear. Over here, we can, of course, specify our range. You can say the current page and multiple pages can be added and of course we can add the the range this time let me just say the current page okay i'm gonna convert the same page which is you can say open and that is the foundation plan i'm gonna specify that one and then of course the output setting format is jpg and then of course the output quality let me just say high quality okay i'm gonna change the uh, color into gray you can even go with color does not matter and then the save path i'm going to change this of course into the same file which is this one okay select folder and then of course click on the convert as you can see that's done and as you can see this is just the jpg file and i'm going to double click on it so we can see if it works or not as you can see this is high quality and you can see even the text okay after a lot of zoom okay so this is just you can say a picture format of the pdf this is also good okay and lastly let me just try the last feature of the pdf blueprint okay 
and that is image to PDF. Okay, I'm gonna click on that, and of course, here is a dialog box image to PDF. And you can even drag the file here, or maybe you can uh, click the add button below. As you can see, over here we have a button. You can just drag your file over here, but I'm gonna click on the add and I'm gonna specify some images, maybe let's say on the desktop. And here I have different images, okay, the world map. And let me just try this one, okay, the course. I'm gonna open that, and of course, the, the file is just added, okay, you can see that. You can even add multiple. Uh, pages okay just by clicking i mean images okay just by clicking the aid or maybe you can drag there and here are options suppose you can cross or maybe you can even just click this option okay to view your image you can even change the save path but this time i'm not gonna not gonna change that i'm gonna leave that on the uh, you can say by default on the desktop okay and that is image to pdf here is another thing uh you can even uncheck open the file after converting okay that's not gonna open the, the file after the conversion okay i'm happy with the check because i want the, the file to be opened after the conversion okay i'm gonna click on the convert and that's done let's see it on the desktop okay i'm gonna move ahead to the desktop and as you can see image to pdf and i'm gonna open that and of course this is just a pdf format you can see that okay so this is how we can use the uh, converter of the PDF blueprint. See you in the next video.